Hey guys, welcome back. So as part of this video, we're gonna write Kafka producer and Kafka consumer and we'll publish the message by using the producer API and uh, consume the message by using the consumer API. In our earlier videos, we uh, set up the multi-node cluster. We um, publish message by using console producer and we consume message from console consumer. But as part of this video, as I said, we're gonna write the producer um, program and the consumer program. So before that, let me talk about the Kafka core APIs. Kafka has five core APIs. The, it has a producer API, it has a consumer API, um, it has a streams API, it has a connect API and the admin client API. So producer API allows the applications to, um, to uh, publish the data uh, to the topic. Um, consumer API, it uh, allows the application to consume the data by using the consumer API streams data. Um, it allows the application to uh, do some transformation of the data and uh, uh, sends uh, from one topic to another topic. Uh, Connect API um, uh, you can use by connecting to the different uh, app, you know, external system and um, get the data, pull the data and push to the Kafka or sends the data from Kafka to you know the external system. Admin client uh, APIs, all these admin related activities, um, we, you can inspect the broker, uh, the zookeeper, and other um, Kafka objects. So well, these are the core APIs, but uh, as part of the vi this video, we're gonna uh, use producer API and consumer API. So let's uh, start uh, looking at the code, which I've already written. I'm just gonna explain uh, in detail, line by line. So let's look at the uh, producer, uh, simple producer program. Uh, but before um, explain uh, before explaining this code, let me talk about um, uh, the workflow of this um, producer, how it works. So first, um, we need to set the properties here. Uh, the where you need to set the bootstrap servers, key serializer, value serializer, all this. Then um, you need to create a producer instance. Then you create a producer record. Uh, after creating the record, you need to um, use the send met method of the producer uh, instance, which uh, sends the record to the uh, broker. So um, uh, what happens behind the scene when you uh, do a um, send, uh, when you invoke the send uh, method on the producer instance, what it does is um, uh, as soon as you um, um, hand it over to the producer, it uses the serializer class uh, to serialize the key and value object to byte error because Kafka doesn't understand any data. It understands the byte error. So then it sends the record uh, to the partitioner, Kafka partitioner. So the partitioner will choose uh, the partition uh, where the message will go, right? Um, and that's based on the record producer. When you create a producer record, if you specify the partition name here. So if you look at the producer record, the signature is like this with the topic and key value and you can have a, um, partition uh, as well uh, where if you define any partition it will go to the specific partition but um, if you define any partition uh, then default partition of Kafka is disabled uh, so what default party if you do not specify anything if you pass only topic name uh, and value even you don't specify key here uh, the Kafka will uh, send the uh, partitions in round robin algorithm in round robin manner right um but um before sending to the topic before sending to the partitions the messages um there is a um, concept called partition buff buffer so producer will keep the messages in the partition it doesn't send the message to the broker immediately uh, it keeps the message in the partition buffer and producer maintains in-memory buffer for each partition and sends the record in batches. Uh, so what is the size of batch, batches and how much time the producer will linger um, waiting for other messages to receive. All these things can be configured as part of the property object um, that uh, we used, uh, I mean that property object which we used to instantiate the uh, producer instance here. So if you look at the documentation of Kafka, um, they have very good documentation where if you look at here, this is the properties object it has created and uh, we have the different, like you know, the batch size is given, the linger time has been given, the buffer memory is given. So 
how much uh, with the buffer memory uh, and uh, what is the linger uh, how much time you're gonna wait and what is the batch size like okay it, after this point uh, it, it has to wait then after that it will send the message to the broker and uh, there's the retries as well um, uh, retries will talk about a uh, little later uh, if let's say somehow the messages uh, is not saved into the broker or there is some error like if the message is received and save the message it sends the acknowledgement in the form record metadata object um, but what if like you know there is an error or something wrong the message is not saved by the broker then producer gets an uh, error uh, some uh, errors can be recoverable with the retry options let's say um, leader of the partition is down and zookeeper takes some time to choose uh, the new data which can accept the messages right so in case of the recoverable, producer, recoverable errors, producer keeps trying to send the batch until it gets an exception. So and the retries are configurable as it mentioned here. Um, uh, you can give how many retries you wanna um, try try to send the batch until it gets an exception. And um, yeah, so that, that's all about the configuration. And let's uh, um, look at here. Let's let's run this. Uh, producer program and the last thing is you need to close the producer mm. you can do it in track it's in the finally block you have to close it I've just written like this but uh, this you need to close the producer instance to release the resources which producer uh, acquires so let's run this um, and let's look at our console consumer which we have already run a simple value to we call it right so let's create this and run it once again and uh, give the value as simple value 3 so we got the message back so we are running the console consumer here but we are running this producer as a java program where we are sending this record um, sending this record to the topic and from the consumer getting this message we'll um, discuss in the sample consumer um, in a bit and we'll um, run this program and we'll also consume the message programmatically instead of uh, uh, consuming the message through console consumer so um, before that uh, let's uh, Let's comment this uh, two lines and uh, let's publish some more messages by passing the topic name and the value, right? One to ten. I mean, zero to ten. If you look at here, uh, the data which you have um, received the partition, it's not guaranteed. The order is not guaranteed here, because um, because what happens here, the Kafka uh, sends the messages to different partitions based on its availability. I mean, the default partition works here in the round robin manner. But if you define one partition here, let's say um, we define our partition, uh, let's say we have zero one two partition, right? and we give um, partition 2 and uh, give some key or simple key whatever then run this see the order is maintained here so it always go to the, go to that um, default and partition the, the partition number which you have given partition 2 so um, if you want to make sure like you know it really works with the partition you can give a uh, unknown partition it will, it will get an error over here see invalid partition given with record for is not in the range of partition right so we don't have any partition called partition 4 if you have partition 2 you can give partition 1 if you give partition 1 also you'll get that record in order right so 
so this is about producer let's look at the consumer so consumer also is the same way um, you can set the properties um, and you can create a Kafka consumer instance uh, where you can send this properties object as an um, argument to the constructor to the Kafka consumer then you do a consumer.subscribe where you can pass the topic name um, the topic name is demo topic one which I've created then you do a poll um, in producer we do a send and here we do a poll um, giving the timeout okay in 100 milliseconds we have given the 100 so um, so each 100 milliseconds will try and to fetch the data from the topic from the broker to um, okay then if you run this program and then we close this inside the final here we have done it properly So you get the message 036 minutes uh, run this program once again okay so partition one we have given partition one offset 125 126 so it is ordered orderly it's like you know consuming the messages So if you do not specify the key and partition number, it will read the message in round robin manner from different partitions. Look at here. So the first record it reads from partition one. The uh, second one was the partition one, third one, but the fourth one reads from partition zero, offset one twenty five, then offset one twenty seven. So, so this is how it works. So I didn't explain this uh, serializer stuff. Then the properties. So first properties we are setting the bootstrap servers, which uh, we give the list of servers. It's always uh, good to give multiple um, uh, broker. Um, brokers uh, because if one node goes down then other nodes can take care of it then the key serializer and the serializer uh, this is required because Kafka doesn't understand any um, uh, data it understand only byte array so we um, the producer um, uses the serializer class to um, convert these uh, Java objects to byte array but here in consumer same way consumer also we use a deserializer which deserializes uh, byte array to Java objects to get the data in a Java object manner. So um, that's all about the sample production in consumer. And stay tuned for the next set of videos where we'll um, um, use the REST APIs and we'll publish some um, uh, payload, um, the JSON payload and it will receive, we'll receive as part of our consumer. And that and there we'll use the Spring Boot Kafka and then we'll uh, insert the data into the CouchBase. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next set of videos.